Welcome to the vlog guys, welcome. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different. We're gonna be talking about perspectives of the new February YouTube raid. Can I say that? Can I say that? Yes, I think I can. was a day today was a day I got uh, my parking spot downstairs I have two one of them I kind of can't use anymore and that really bummed me out because now I only have one spot uh, so the 5 series is there and I'm parking the X1 out in the street first world problems guys first world problems but that's not why we're here I kind of started the day off with some bad news and, and so I'm a little bummed right now I'm a little bummed so hopefully this doesn't change Kind of what I'm thinking here. YouTube has created a new policy. Now guys, I've been on YouTube for a very long time. Not this channel, not the channel you see right now, but all right. So um, we'll just take a look at uh, a, like a video from seven freaking years ago, guys. <sighs> oh my gosh, I've been doing this for seven years. Now I've never done it to the point, I never, I never do my YouTube videos to make money. Not my thing. It wasn't. It never was because I didn't see a realistic um, profit margin, I guess, from YouTube. Oh boy, was I wrong. But yes, YouTube was never, never for money. I just like documenting things. I've always, I always film things. My dad is a professional videographer, so it kind of trickled down to me. Um, yeah, I have a, I have a video that I uploaded in December 2010. It's still live right now on YouTube. Hello YouTube viewers. <clears throat> this is my third remake of the same video. <laughs> Let me go ahead and download this. I think this is not going to be in a 1080p. Uh, wow, it's in 480. Mm. <laughs> so, I'm going to go ahead and download this video real quick. So back when I was making these videos, the cameras, man, HD was like this, the, the, the new thing. And, and and really we were still using pretty low resolution video recording things. Now, I always had access to a lot of the more expensive cameras because again, my dad was a professional videographer. And so I would always, I guess, borrow or get me hand-me-downs, right? Hand-me-downs. So I always had access to some kind of filming Thing, whether it's a, a DV, a, a mini DV, um, I even remember my VHS and beta cam recorders, so camcorders. So I, I, I was always doing this. I have a lot of footage on videotape as well that I just never ported over to digital. But yeah, I've been in this YouTube thing for, for a while now, just through my video. Uh, we're looking at over seven years, it's December 2010, it's 2018. So, um, Oh, a little bit over seven years and up until probably last month or two months ago November November introduced a new change where you needed 10,000 views and this wasn't a big deal for me because all the channels across the board had over 10,000 views lifetime views except for my vlogging channel which is the most important channel to me because after going through so many channels I finally figured out that I I'm more of a jack of all trades person. Um, so w when I focus on a certain topic, that topic goes kind of like nowhere real quick. Uh, so I mean, I even had a, a, like, I even had a time when I was really into motorcycles, uh, and I started uploading videos about motorcycles. But uh, I got into a motorcycle accident. Um, I destroyed my near brand new Yamaha R6 that's been tuned, and and modded obviously and I was left in the hospital for a few months I broke uh, both my legs both my ankles both my feet I broke my back my pelvis this um, I broke both my clavicles dislocated my shoulders broke my hands my arms I was in a bad accident I was in a hit and run so uh, that ended the, the motorcycle thing real quick and so 
that's where it is. So, so this vlog thing, to me, this vlog channel was important to me. And so I did not have 10,000 lifetime views, and then they cut off the AdSense. Whatever. It wasn't a big deal. I was making 30, 20 cents a month. You know, so it wasn't like a big hit to me. I wasn't like, oh my god, right? I just it was like, whatever. Um, I knew I was gonna get 10,000 lifetime views. I got it, and then now I'm starting to generate income again. Again, I'm not doing the vlogs for, for income though, but it's a very good incentive, and it makes me kind of happy. And so, whether no matter how small or minute that, that income is, it does make me feel better. Now, with February's YouTube change, you need 4,000 hours watched in the past consecutive year, or in your consecutive year, and 1,000 plus subscribers. Hmm. Subscribers aren't a big deal, because if you look at my, if I my other channels, I have I have the potential to each easily reach a thousand. Um, but here in my vlog channel, uh, this is like one of the slowest growing channels I have. Specifically because I don't have a certain topic and I don't go too into too much detail about a certain topic. It's a freaking video log. It's logs of my life as it happens. And shoot, right now nothing interesting is happening. So this has hit me hard. This has hit me hard. <laughs> Battery change. So anyways. I don't know where I was, but for the past seven years, I've seen YouTube change. And uh, this most recent change is probably the biggest because it's gonna kill off all the small channels. Yes and no, because uh, it's not gonna really kill channels. You can still upload, you can still use your channel, you can do everything you can. The only thing is that you can't monetize. But that was YouTube before anyways, during seven years ago, um, I did monetize my videos somewhat but like it, it wasn't it, money wise it's not that great so not a big deal not a big deal and this vlog channel yes it was hit but I, I was never in it for the subs or the money but it is a hit to motivation that's what it is it, it it's like a like a really good gut shot um, where it knocks the wind out of you that's what this new policy is. Is YouTube wrong to do it? I don't know, it's YouTube, it's Google. If they say it, we have no control about it. There's really nothing we could do. So even if there's like, a, 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 like an outcry to all the huge community that's fight the power, it's not gonna work. It's not. Because really, use, being able to use YouTube is, it's not a right, right? It's a privilege. So, Again, if YouTube decides one way, the only thing we can do is conform. And that's fine, I don't, whatever. But recently, I've been seeing a lot of bigger YouTubers, or at least YouTubers that aren't affected, that aren't affected by this whole 4,000 hour, 1,000 subscriber thing. And they're saying, eh, it's not a big deal. Whatever, get over it. Just keep uploading videos, you'll get there. Just keep uploading videos. Now, YouTube have changed the terms and conditions of how easy it is to get partnered. And the internet has gone mental about it. But I don't think they should be going mental about it. So, let's chat. Now, YouTube has made it really, really difficult to get your channel partnered. You have to have over 4,000 hours of your content watched in the last year. And then on top of that, you have to have 1,000 subscribers on your YouTube channel or, or more, right? But it's just not as easy as that. You actually have to put some grind in and I can tell you right from the get-go, I mean, I'm this, this right now. This video is being uploaded to my vlogging channel, which is currently sat on about 450 odd thousand subscribers, right? Here's the problem. When we get into a pessimistic, uh, pessimistic mindset, it qu it quelches our creativity. It crushes it. You know, when we're discouraged and negative, right? You're never creative when you're negative. But when you when you're positive, you can start seeing solutions. You don't want to get in a place where all you see is the problems. You want to get in a place where you see the opportunities. So work harder and work smarter. Now, for the vlog channel, this is the only channel that I struggle with because even if it's a very small amount of money. It was something motivating. I was making about $10 a month, um, which is not bad. Because <laughs> I could do this for two months and get myself a Taco Bell meal. <laughs> but, I mean, in the grand scheme of things, $10 a month is nothing. Because the camera that I'm filming this with cost me $1,000. 
the Canon ADV was $1,200. So if you put it in that perspective, um, $120 a, a year, <laughs> it'll take me 10 years just to get that camera, the Canon camera, and it'll take me eight years and four months to get the Sony camera. So I had to have been doing what I'm doing, getting paid what I'm paid for 18, nearly 18 and a half years to be able to afford just two cameras that you guys are seeing me with, like what I'm recording with. So this, this uh, again, the money thing is not a big deal. Yeah, we took a hit, but it's more, more like a psychological hit than it is actual monetary hit. Eh, all these bigger YouTubers, that uh, doesn't really affect them. It's just, it's funny to hear them say, it's not a big deal, it's nothing. Just keep your, keep up your grind. When I first started YouTubing, uh, I had to say, no you didn't. You did not have the same problems because during my seven years of uploading, um, it is, the grind has changed. It is much easier to succeed if you started YouTube, or at least that channel, a long time ago, than it is to succeed for a new YouTuber to come up and start. You do have your, your rare cards, your, your wild cards, like Peter McKinnon uh, with his fancy camera editing skills. As one of those YouTubers that is getting directly affected by the new policy change, guys, social media, making it in social media is hard. It is, it's just that's the nature of the game because everyone wants to do it. Perspectives of a, a big YouTuber, uh, this is, you're not gonna give a crap and you're gonna say just keep up with the grind because I went through it, I went through it, and you can go through it. And then, uh, perspective of a small YouTuber, grab a pitchfork and let's burn down the site. That's pretty much the perspectives of both, you know, either end of the spectrum. And uh, perspectives of, I haven't seen a lot of videos about people that actually get affected by this probably because I've never heard of their channel <laughs> but my perspective on this on this YouTube situation is I mean I saw it coming I saw it coming uh, if I was YouTube I probably would have done the same thing a bigger YouTube makes a mistake and who's paying the price for it really the smaller YouTube members are paying the price and this is obvious because um, you want to push the money makers the high performers and you want to cut down on the low performers or people that aren't 100% in the game. I'm still going to be doing this because the purpose of my, my vlogs is to have a recording um, stored in a huge server where I could one day show my kids or so on and so forth, kind of my life story. It's a way to leave some of me behind if I'm not in this world anymore. It's, it's so much more than making money and so I try to make it somewhat entertaining but again most of it is just pure reality guys this is a reality at, at its best as much as I hate to say it I am in agreement with all the big youtubers um, guys it's not a big deal <laughs> yeah yeah 10 10 bucks to 20 bucks a month. It's not gonna be life-changing money. It's not gonna be sustainable money. Um, if you are a certain age, then you have payments. And those payments, uh, whether it's a mortgage or whether it's rent, it's probably gonna be your biggest payment. And then you have car payments, and you have insurance payments, you have internet payments, you have cell phone payments. And all those payments combined with utility, um, there's no way that even a person with a thousand subscribers could maintain uh, as far as income goes. So, again, this isn't a big deal. Uh, I know I'm talking to all the smaller YouTubers out there. I know this is a big morale hit, and I know that it, although it's only like five to twenty dollars, um, it's it's definitely it feels like a lot more. It feels like so much more. Um, but it's, it's not, guys. What I do is I don't tie anything to YouTube. YouTube, for me, is, what, is, is a hobby. It's what I love to do. And 
as far as income. If I get something out of it, fantastic. If I don't, it's okay, it's still a hobby. And then my main source of income is right here, right? Uh, right now, it's, it's nowhere. But <laughs> about a year ago, my main source of income was totally separate and and that's the way it should be for you smaller YouTubers that know when you can finally sustain your income from YouTube. Then you could transfer over. But until then, I, I don't think it's, it's a reality to, to think that YouTube could, could support you through your life, your wants, your everything. And, and that's kind of where I'm getting at. All right, well, I don't want this video to be too long. <sighs> Truthfully, the parking situation affected me more than the YouTube situation. <laughs> Because tomorrow I have to wake up and move my car at 8 o'clock because I have to wake up at 7.30 because there's street cleaning. Then I gotta find parking again. I'll just be driving the 5 Series a lot more. That's what's gonna happen. Because at least the 5 Series I have definitely parking. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting first world problems. But let me tell you guys, don't get discouraged. Just keep up the good fight, guys. Keep up the good fight. And please, those of you that are watching this, subscribe and help me get to 1,000 subscribers. That, that would help out a lot. And I don't usually say this too often, but yes, sub. Um, hit this button if you liked it. Hit that button if you didn't. Um, really, even if you didn't, try to hit that button. <laughs> and guys, just remember, no matter what happens, um, the, the people that are getting hit by this, is, it's not, you're not getting hit to a point where it's gonna be like, oh my gosh, my life is over. It may feel bigger than it is, but it's not, so. Let's just keep uploading videos. Let's subscribe to each other. Let's help guys in the comments. If you could find a way or, or to give me some advice on how I can make my content better, then I'd be much like, uh, much obliged. I, I, I love to find out better ways to do things. So again, just remember, just remember, no matter what happens, live well and laugh more.